Good afternoon, FS Global, Bad Channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News. Finally, finally, we have some news to go over. It's been, what, since Wednesday since I've done a FS News video? Well, today, we're going to be talking about some American maps coming very, very soon, including a Wisconsin map and an Idaho map. We will also be talking about a render from 82 Square Studio and his TLX 9000. Now remember, tomorrow on Monday, Giants is out of office for a bank holiday, so we will probably not see a testing list or new mods until Tuesday. Before we get the news, make sure to smash that like button. If you're watching this as a premiere, let's try to go for 100 likes. Now if you're watching this after, let's get to 300. Probably want to see that news, roll that intro, let's go. Welcome back. Okay, let's get to that first piece of news for this weekend. The first one we have is from Agro Tono. Some pictures right here. And this is about his new project, the Mac MD series that's now in production. Remember, this will be coming out to all platforms. So what? We have the Mac Grain Hauling Pack from BC Bueller. We have the Mac Superliner, of course, from 82. And now we got the Mac MD series from Agro Tono. Can't have too many Macs in the game. Anyways, the next piece of news we have for today is from Sid Modding. Another thing he has been currently working on is Challenger MT900. Of course, after he gets done with this, he's going to be working on his MT800 and the MT700, all in the similar configurations as it was in Farming Simulator 19. Of course, he's also converting over his STS combines. He's making his class Lexions and a bunch more after that. He also says, will the yellow and black Challenger tractors match the yellow and black class combines? I'm very excited about those class combines. Finally, some North American versions of the class Getting after that one, we have some news from Farm Sim Game. This is now pending with Giants. He has finished his Big Tex DU25 trailer. He's even added a version with a flathead and ramps. So look for this trailer on the official mod hub in the coming days. So very excited about that one too. Okay, now let's get to that next piece of news, which is from Bullet Bill. I'm getting very excited about everything that Bullet Bill is making. But anyways, he is actually making a new model. He said that he challenged himself to see if he can manage to make this barn conversion model in just one day. He didn't quite make it though. He still got the LOD one model, the snow roof model, and the dirt moss to add. But look how much he got done in just one day. That's crazy right there. He said that he's really pleased with how this whole model set has come out. He said that barn conversions are very common around the countryside where he lives and in many parts of the UK. So having one on the map makes it feel that more complete. Because remember, he is making a new map, which can't wait for that one. He said, plus with each model, he's slowly learning and improving. Just trying to not think of the other 100 plus models he has still left to build. 100 plus models? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, now let's get some news from 82 Square Studio. And this is just pretty much a render of, well, of something he made at the end of yesterday's stream, as you see right here. This is the TLX 9000, which of course will be coming out to all platforms, but love, love the paint job on that one. Then we have some news from Alien Jim. His animal barn pack is now ready to be submitted to Giants for testing. He said, please note though, there is no horse stable at this time, but maybe he will be adding a later one, well, adding one at a later time. But you, of course, you guys know with Alien Jim's uh, animal placeables and everything, they're really top notch right there. Okay, now we got some news on what Black Sheep Modding's next new map is gonna be. This is actually the Alex Pro Deal Center farm. This is a real farm and actually these this people have actually their own YouTube channel. So if you guys have not checked out that YouTube channel, make sure you guys do. I think it is in French though, because this is a French farm, but something you will notice on this map is it looks like these fields are really, really big. Can't wait for more information on this one very soon. And then next after that one, we have the last piece of news for today, and that is from Lancy Boy. Some news on basically everything he's working on. He said, unfortunately, Stone Valley 22 has failed on minor things. It's been resubmitted back to the mod hub. So it's already been resubmitted, already been fixed and everything. So hopefully it does pass this week. He says, while he's waiting, he has started a new project. This project is out of his comfort zone. He was trying new things in the Giants editor and decided to go with this project. It's called American Falls. It's an open map with forestry. I believe this is based in Idaho too. So here's a few pictures of it. This looks really, really good. And of course, he is still also working on his Wisconsin map. So we got what? Stone Valley, American Falls, and a Wisconsin map from Lancy Boy. That is a lot of American maps. Plus, you know, we also got Oregon Springs, which I'm probably missing a few more American maps because they're coming very soon. Well, that was the news for today. You know what? We actually got a lot of American maps that's going to be coming very soon to all platforms. I actually think we're going to have more American maps in Farming Simulator 22 than we had in Farming Simulator 19. 
Uh, just from Lancy Boy, we have Stone Valley, we have his Wisconsin map, and now his American Falls. Now, today's schedule is, today is our last live stream of the week at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Well, if you guys also did like the video, which I hope you guys did, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, to make sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Well, see you guys tonight. Peace. words you said it's like i'm wasted every time i see your face i'm losing track of time and space i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise